You saw My Blue Heaven here tonight on UPN 9, a comedy about life inside the witness protection program. But I-Team investigator Joe Collum has been looking into the program. He's here to show us that changing a person's identity is a far more serious situation. Well, Shauna, it's sure no wild and crazy comedy. Witnesses don't join the program because it's funny they join either to escape prison or avoid a bullet in the head. For federal prosecutors, the result has been a wildly successful assault on the mob. He was supposed to be untouchable, Teflon, John Gotti, king of the mob. Now his kingdom is a six by eight foot cell inside the tightest security prison in America. Gotti, the fallen boss, is testament to the steep decline of the mafia in New York City. Gotti was betrayed by his own right-hand man, Salvatore Gravano, a ruthless killer who saved his own skin by joining the Witness Protection Program. The Witness Protection Program is probably the single most important tool in combating organized crime. Prosecutors love it. Defense lawyers hate it. It stinks to high heaven. It's bribery. But the government can do it, and nobody else can. Over the past decade, gangsters have been falling all over themselves in a stampede to get into the witness protection program. And for good reason. It could mean new identities and new lives for criminals otherwise headed for prison or maybe even the morgue. But despite its promise, the witness protection program is no heaven. There's three contracts out of my life right now by three families, three New York families. This man's testimony has helped convict more than 50 mobsters. A career criminal, he was facing at least 25 years in prison when he accepted the government's invitation to join the witness protection program. They promised me a new identity. They were promised to move me and my family and change their identity. They made it sound like I was going to like be born again, basically. You know, I mean, this is going to be a new life for you and your family. And if you keep your nose clean, better than you, there isn't any. Mr. X spent eight years working undercover for the FBI, infiltrating mob operations throughout New York City. But he says by the time he finished testifying for the prosecution, the government had forgotten its promises to him. When I started, there was one U.S. attorney, and in the interim of the seven years I worked with him, there was a total of six other different U.S. attorneys that I dealt with. You don't renegotiate the plea agreement that you made, you just feel it's the government made it, you represented them and they're going to stand by. And then when all the smoke cleared, they feel, well, you didn't go to jail, you should be happy. But the U.S. Marshal Service says since its inception in 1971, the program has been extraordinarily successful. Approximately 6,600 principal witnesses uh, have gone through the program, and if you include their family members, it's the number is, exceeds 15,000. But the program has been criticized for protecting the likes of Michael Burnett, a Brooklyn swindler given new life in return for his testimony against major mobsters. Burnett then committed a long string of crimes while under protection, including a Staten Island contract murder. You can justify to me violating the law, trashing that which is fear in order to get those so-called bad guys. The bosses of families don't do the dirty work. They send their little underlings to do it. In order to prosecute the bosses, you need to use the underlings. Charles Rose is a former federal organized crime prosecutor who put dozens of witnesses into the program. I hope John Gotti run the family. Rose defends cutting deals with men like Sammy the Bull Gravano, who did only three years in prison before being released and given a new identity last year, despite taking part in 19 murders. If you take the, uh, the kind of the calculus and say one person who committed 19 murders is responsible for putting 50 people in prison who committed 100 murders, it really makes sense to use someone like Sam Gubano. Mr. X is laying low, living anonymously with his family somewhere in America, just trying to keep from being rubbed out by the mob. For him, the witness protection program has been a bust. He says he is not bitter, but he does feel betrayed. They love you when you're doing it, but after it's done and everybody got their claim to fame, you're just a statistic. They're not your friend. They're not your best friend. They don't care if you come or go. They don't care if you walk outside and get killed. The U.S. Marshal Service says it's never lost a witness to underworld assassins, but 
25 to 30, 30 former witnesses have been murdered after leaving the program and returning to their old neighborhoods, which is not a good idea, Sean.